All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, Brian here, and this is my thoughts on last night's episode of SmackDown Live. Uh, so let's get right into it. I'm going to get my thoughts on what took place. Um, of course, this Sunday is Backlash, uh, the co branded Raw and SmackDown event. Um, and last night's episode of SmackDown Live featured um, build up to some of the matches taking place um, as far as the SmackDown Live pro uh, portion of, of Backlash this Sunday, uh, where the WWE Championship match will be taken, well, well, I should say the WWE Championship will be decided when AJ Styles defends against Shinsuke Nakamura, or as I think people like to call him, Nutcracker Nakamura, because he basically likes to get when uh, give low blows to AJ Styles. Um, basically, this match was made a no disqualification match at the beginning of last night's uh, edition of SmackDown Live. Uh, Paige, the general manager, basically announced that this match is going to be no disqualification on Sunday. So, uh, basically, because of what happened, uh, or what's been going on between these two over the last couple of weeks, ever since before WrestleMania, I even I should say, and, uh, and as far as what happened this past Friday at the Greatest Royal Rumble event in Saudi Arabia, uh, we had a Miz TV segment. Uh, before I do get that Miz TV segment, my thought on this Nakamura Styles matchup coming up Sunday. Um, it's a win-win situation for Nakamura. He either wins or they move on. I'll get into I'll get into more of it about that match when I make my predictions either tomorrow or Friday. But uh, we had a Miz TV segment uh, where Miz uh, had both the United States Champion Jeff Hardy as well as the Viper Randy Orton who, of course, these two are going to go at it for that U.S. title this Sunday, Jeff Hardy defending against Randy Orton, in what I think will probably be one of a few matches on that show Sunday um, that could be a match of the night, uh, or it could be a great matchup. Uh, but we had that Miz TV segment. Miz basically trying to create trouble between Orton and, Je and and Hardy heading into that match Sunday. Uh, basically saying, you know, Randy Orton, you know, what happened to the Viper? Uh, he should RKO Jeff Hardy and stuff like that. And Orton basically told him, listen, I don't, I do, I, R I give an RKO when I want to deliver an RKO. Um, Shelton Benjamin who scored a win over Randy Orton last week on SmackDown. <clears throat> he came out, basically said that Randy Orton doesn't deserve opportunities, that he does, because he beat Randy Orton last week. He deserves an opportunity. And right before Benjamin got to get in the ring, Orton attacked him and knocked him off the ring apron. Miz, Miz went after Orton. Hardy went after Miz. This led to a tag team match uh, to kick off SmackDown uh, as the first match. Uh, pretty good tag team match. Um, I could see these these four uh, should Miz not win the Intercontinental Championship um, on Sunday against Seth Rollins. I could see these four being you know in that U.S. title picture: um, Benjamin, Miz, Orton, and Hardy. Uh, but this tag team match, in my opinion, I thought was a pretty good tag team matchup uh, that saw Randy Orton hit the RKO on Shelton Benjamin, then tagged in Jeff Hardy, who would hit the Swanton Bomb to score the win for his team. Uh, and then after the match, Randy Orton, basically, they don't, they don't say RKO out of nowhere for, for no reason. He would get... Hit, uh, Hardy would get hit with an RKO out of nowhere by Randy Orton. Obviously, Orton sending a message to Jeff Hardy saying that 
Sunday, I'm taking back the U.S. title. Um, what else? Uh, we had, um, I'm just going to name, um, t- t- there were some other segments on this show, like uh, AJ Styles, uh, Nakamura uh, demanded an apology from AJ Styles. Styles was in the ring talking about uh, Sunday's match against Nakamura for the championship coming up. Samoa Joe would come out and interrupt and say, basically make it very clear that after he beats Roman Reigns on Sunday, he doesn't care who the champion is. If it's Styles or Nakamura, he's coming for that championship, uh, which is, I think, huge because, you know, now that Samoa Joe is on SmackDown Live, we could get some really good matches, whether it be Styles and Joe, Nakamura versus Joe, maybe a triple threat. You know, we'll have to wait and see, but, you know, um, those are some good uh, options there. Uh, Nakamura would come up from behind once again, showing why everybody calls him uh, Nutcracker Nakamura. Hitting a little blow would wind up hitting the Kinshasa on Styles and then stand over Styles holding the WWE Championship. Obviously sending a message to Styles uh, going into Sunday night where, you know, it is no disqualification, so if Nakamura wants to hit a low blow, he can do it. It's no disqualification coming up on Sunday, so. Um, let's see, what uh, else? Uh, we saw Big Cass, who came out for his uh, in-ring segment, talking about his match coming up on Sunday with Daniel Bryan. The one question is, will Daniel Bryan be cleared? Uh, They're doing this whole thing where Daniel Bryan wasn't cleared to compete last night because of a a risk of a chest infection after being chopped during the Greatest Royal Rumble match by Roderick Strong from NXT. Um, And from the video they showed, you see, you know, they showed Daniel Bryan being interviewed and his chest was like just all red. I mean, it was like... You know, it was it looked bad. So the, apparently, WWE's medical staff didn't clear him to compete on last night's episode of SmackDown. Big Cass, however, came out, basically called out Daniel Bryan. Uh, this little guy uh, came out dressed up as Daniel Bryan. Basically, it was what you would expect. Big Cass had his fun and then gave. Uh, the little guy a big boot and basically that was it so uh, obviously sending a message to Daniel Bryan uh, heading into Sunday if the match happens um, we had uh, Xavier Woods from the New Day taking on Sheamus uh, pretty decent match um, that saw a lot of outside antics from Cesaro getting involved, New Day, the other two members of New Day, Big E and Kofi getting involved. Uh, basically, it ended with Xavier Woods after Sheamus got distracted by Kofi, uh, trying getting back in the ring, rolled up Sheamus with a small package and pinned him one, two, three. Obviously, we know the bar, we know Sheamus and Cesaro and the New Day's history. Sheamus and Cesaro were the ones that ended the New Day's long uh, uh, tag title reign. So, obviously, they're building up a feud between these two teams, which should be interesting when when those matches happen. Um, And uh, we heard from uh, um, Zelina Vega and Andrade Cien Almas, who are coming from NXT to SmackDown Live. Um... Basically, that's we heard from them talking about how uh, Andrade is going to, you know, turn SmackDown into his show. Um, and in the main event, it was a six-woman tag team match. It was Becky Lynch, Asuka, and Charlotte Flair taking on the Iconics, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, and SmackDown Women's Champion Carmella. Of course, Carmella will be defending her SmackDown Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair at Backlash this Sunday. 
these these six women, we all know their history over the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, the Iconics cost Charlotte her championship and allowed Carmella to cash in. And, of course, last week, the Iconics beat uh, Asuka and Becky Lynch in a tag team match. So, a lot of, his- lot of animosity in this match. Uh, to the surprise, to my surprise, it was actually a, a good six, uh, six-woman tag match. A lot of action in this one. You know, uh, Charlotte, Asuka, and Becky Lynch scored the win when Asuka locked uh, Peyton Royce in the Asuka lock and made her submit uh, in what was, I thought, a pretty good main event. So that was uh, that was pretty much it for that. Uh, my overall thoughts on the episode last night of SmackDown heading into Backlash this Sunday, I thought it was a pretty good episode. A lot of build-up towards, as far as the matches for SmackDown are concerned uh, for the Backlash card. Um, as I mentioned, I will... Um, discuss who I think is going to win the the matches this Sunday when I make my predictions either tomorrow or Friday. Uh, but overall, my overall thoughts on last night's episode was I thought I thought SmackDown was actually pretty good. A lot of action, a lot of great action, a lot of a couple of good matches. Um, heading into Backlash, a lot of build up as far as you know the matches are concerned. Um, so, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, so, with that being said, if you guys watched SmackDown last night, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. I thought it was a pretty good show last night. So, with that being said, this has been my review of what took place on last night's episode of SmackDown Live. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.